What's the first thing that pops into your head when you think of Poland? Vodka, right? So we couldn't come all the way to Krakow without doing as the locals do. And that is why myself and Lee joined a Polish vodka tour, led by Krakow's very own vodka queen, Emilka. Come along on this adventure as Emilka teaches us all about vodka and the best local spots to drink it in. Now, before we get into the tour, let me introduce you to the pack of legends we met. We got my fellow New Yorker and YouTuber, Natalie. I will link her channel down below. Be sure to check her out. We got Fred from Chicago. Fred, you have got to come to London soon. We got our Miami crew of Manny, Andressa and Gian. And last but not least, my fellow Irishman, Connor. Oh, and of course we can't forget my partner in crime and better half, Lee. The tour begins with some local delicacies of mountain cheese, pickles and sausages. And Emilka tells us all about the traditions revolving around vodka in Polish culture. There's also this, uh, this tradition when the child is born into the family. So it doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, middle of the day, you know, the child is born so it's a huge celebration. So, you know, obviously the dad brings the bottle and he's drinking with the family and friends and people are coming in, joining and you know, it's just a big huge celebration. And then, um, <laughs> that's where the fun starts, you know, because obviously the mom gave birth and then the, the task for dad is to go to the office and register the child's name. So you can imagine, he's obviously perfectly sober after the huge amount of vodka he just, he just said, um, or probably hangover if it's the next day. Uh, so obviously by the time he comes to the office, he has no idea what the name was supposed to be, right? <laughs> so he just, you know, uh, makes something up and then just, you know, write it down. But obviously he's not brave enough to go to his wife who just gave birth and say, listen, I screwed up, so he just keeps quiet. And then we even had some people in our, in our team, so got some guys that would turn 18, go to the office to register their ID, and they would find out that they've been called a different name their entire life. Like, I'm not bullshitting, that's how it is. So in a second, we'll be trying two straight vodkas, but one is uh, from potatoes, and the second one is a rye vodka. Once you grab your, uh, your shot, there's no thinking back, you know, no back seats. You have to no back have it all. Uh, in one shot. If you watched my first video of the Poland series, you'll appreciate how fragile my suddenly felt going to this vodka tour. But in for a penny, in for a pound. Or in this case, a Zloty. Is it okay? Wow. Gives me the <laughs> Next, Emilka had us pour a shot for the person sitting next to us and we each gave a wee toast before drinking. For better times, for worse times, make every time feel like the first time. Oh! Oh, get up! I'm gonna just say cheers to Poland and I hope you guys come back because it's actually really awesome. Yay! Astrovia. Girl stop. 2020 was such a shitty year, so um, I'm really happy to travel. So, travels. Yeah. Travel. Yay. Travel. Oh, God. Nestrovia. Nestrovia. It's a ships. There are big ships and there are little ships. <laughs> the best ships are fresh ships. Nestrovia. We'll all drink to that. Great time we're going to have tonight to all the flavor buckets that are in front of us and to move and go over some more. Yeah. Oh, we then headed on to the next place which resembled a Harry Potter potion room with huge glass Spigo jars filled with homemade vodka in flavours such as coffee, horseradish, honey and pepper and even woodworm. Let's get together. Oh, I think we're on to a winner! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right, Manny, which one are you leaning towards? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna look. Well, she did. She definitely recommended something that was lower in percentage. Yes. Uh, so I don't know. I'm thinking maybe vodka, like the mint one. What did I get? Me. Um, I got a very girly one. <laughs> Elderberry. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Oh my god, that is the cutest thing. That is such a good stocking stuffer. Fred, what are you thinking? Mint, yeah. No, you're not, are you? Orange. Oh, I didn't even see that. Like Terry's chocolate like orange, Terry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the novelty of the villa. You know, this is not your like typical flavor vodka that you get like in a, in a shop. Of course, this is all. Subscribe to her and subscribe to me while you're on it. That's why we are character from the taste and then you get rid of, of you know the other but the more you fill it the more it's it's yeah, it gets rid of it's a yeah, yeah. 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 so like there are it's some vodka it's 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 sorry no you okay yeah that's what I thought that was <laughs> 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 I can feel the chest here it's like coming out Cheers. Mr. You got pepper. Honey and pepper. How is it? Yeah, you can trust in mine. I got chocolate. Uh, we have to pick it up a little bit. Okay, so if you could finish your shots, then we can have more. Because we're such talkers. <laughs> After a 72% plum moonshine, we needed to sober up a little, so Emilka took us to an award-winning pierogi place. And here we were served some delicious grub, meat pierogies followed by sweet ones with strawberries inside and cream on top. After our pierogies, the next stop on our tour was a bar inspired by the communist era, where the waiters and waitresses dressed like they did back then, and all the walls are covered in old newspapers. So here we tried lemon vodka and another shot which tasted exactly like Coca-Cola Chubba Chub lollipops.
that's the end of the tour, but not the end of the night, as we all kept the party going and headed back to the joint cell in Moonshine. I can only apologize for the drunken footage you're about to see. This is 12. This is shot 12, Lee, did you drink some? I'm Gucci, baby. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's strong, right now, Liam? It's strong. It is strong, right? It's like Colombia in a cup. Are you still going with us? Come on, Fred. That's the roller. That's the roller. That's the roller. She's cool. She's cool. Big dad's a queen, but like, you are the vodka queen. Young and sweet, only shot turned me. You're improvising. All right, guys, we have come back from the Polish vodka tasting tour, which, by the way, I would 10 out of a million, or, I mean, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, which, by the way, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. Honestly, your girl Milka is the vodka queen. You got a bigger tour with the vodka queen, you will not regret it. She will take you to the best vodka joints, like places you would never even know about, you wouldn't be able to find by yourself. So if you plan to come here, you cannot, I repeat, cannot miss her tour. She's an absolute legend. Thank you so much for the tour. We had the best time. So I'm gonna sign off this vlog. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I've had like 15 shots. Okay, I've had 15 shots of vodka. Okay, until the next one guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, goodbye and good luck. Bye.